Hey you guys, what's up? Hope you're doing well. And today we're gonna to be talking about how I edited this Izzy Orange Drink commercial. No, I wasn't paid by them to do this, but this is how I would edit a commercial like this. This is how I would shoot a commercial like this. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys the hacks on how to shoot a commercial like this. So the cool thing was I did this on practically a zero dollar budget. I don't do this professionally yet. I do videography professionally, but not product videography like this specifically yet. But this is something I've been wanting to get more into. So I'm super inspired by people like Daniel Schiffer, Austin Paul, Joey, and all these other types of YouTube creators that are able to create amazing content. So what I wanted to try was to do it with practically a zero dollar budget. Like I spent pretty much the price of the drink and yeah, that's about it. Didn't have a fish tank, nothing crazy to be able to do this. I did this all with a glass of water and just an orange and the drink and just some simple white backdrops and setups. So when we started out the shoot, I wanted to get the hero shot out of the way first of, of the drink itself. So it was really just a simple shot, putting it on a, a lazy Susan, rotating it with a little green screen underneath and just being able to back out of that as a, with a slider as it kind of rotated. Really nice, really simple, really easy shot. It was pretty easy to pull off. But secondly, I wanted to get into the most difficult shot of the night. So the most difficult shot was gonna be the shot where I wanted to drop the orange slice into the, the vase, the glass of water, as there was like an orange ink blast spraying into it to kind of give an effect of like the orange was gonna be thrown up and lands in the glass, right? Lands in the drink, the can, and kind of explodes with this orange blast and this orange peel gets in there and it gives the orange flavor of the drink and then it pulls out into the hero shot. So we took this take probably about 15, 20 times, no joke. And as we started shooting it, the number one problem that we encountered, the first problem that I should say that we encountered was that we were having a lot of difficulty with getting the ink to kind of blast correctly. This was my first time working with ink and it was very difficult to either, you know, get it all centered in one location where it looked like it was blasting out of one area or difficult to get it at the right speed and not overwhelm the whole thing of water or do it too slowly to where it just creeped in. Three, two, one. Oh. Pooper scooper. Finally, we were able to get that right by using a straw, kind of just using like a suck your fingertip as a suction and then releasing the perfect amount um, of ink as it kind of went. And the straw, for some reason, guided it very powerfully in one center location. So that was how we got around hack number one. But beyond that, the second thing that came in that was a little bit tricky that we encountered was the vase was just giving too much distortion to the orange slice. And I wasn't liking how that was looking. So after many, many takes of trying to get the orange slice to look right, it just was distorting it too much so what i decided to do was actually green screen the orange and do the ink separately so i did the ink all in the vase um and with the white backdrop that way i could just kind of remove that and post and then later on added in the green screened orange into the the image and when i did that um i kind of added a little bit of natural shake into the orange just to kind of give it a little bit of a float as it kind of lands in there but then i also used a motion path in my editing to be able to show the effect of kind of like the orange falling in, dropping in, and then pulling out at the end for the hero shot. Overall, wasn't perfect, but I think it turned out pretty well for my first attempt doing something like that. Now, the second shot that was probably gonna be the most difficult that we went to next was gonna be the shot with the orange flying through the air. What I decided to kind of do with this, rather than trying to track an orange peel for a long time going through the air, because I wanted a little bit of an extended sequence of it, was just to put it on a, on a Lazy Susan and rotate it on a skewer and a green screen around it and then take out the green screen later in editing and show it as if it was flying. Now beyond that, I wanted a shot at the beginning where the orange kind of dropped into the frame and then kind of split open to a bunch of peels. My original idea was to kind of have it split as it impacted and kind of like shatter out from there, but it wasn't turning out as well as I wanted. Um, I think I shot it a little bit incorrectly in terms of the backdrop and the white wasn't blown out enough. So when I tried to mesh those clips together, it just wasn't looking good. So what I went for in said was kind of like a drop effect and then with the momentum of the sounds and the music kind of just like splitting open the orange from there turned out pretty cool at the end of the day Overall, turned out pretty cool for one of my first experiences doing product videography. If you guys enjoyed this, if you guys learned a lot from it, make sure to subscribe below and I'll try to be making more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.